Hi, Captain Dave Hanson with another phenomenal show for you today. This is going to be a really good podcast. I am super excited. I'm bringing in some of my uh, really close personal friends on this one. And I think we're all going to have a really good time. We've got a couple of people that a lot of you will recognize and a couple guys you may not recognize if you're not members of the website. But I think you guys are all going to have a really good time listening to this show today and watching it and seeing which way we go with this. But don't forget, today is Promar Ahi USA Tuesday, and we always start the show off talking about some Promar products. So we'll bring Justin in in a few minutes. We'll talk about the giveaway that we're giving away today. I'll make the announcement to who won, and uh, we will start the show in just a few seconds, waiting for a few more people to jump on here. But it's Promar Ahi USA Tuesday. We always talk about some Promar products on Tuesday. And we've been talking about these uh, rock cod squirts because they're such an important part of our family. The whole community, everybody that fishes, all the members of your saltwater guide use these rock cod squirts on a daily basis. And they're just knocking the living bejesus out of the fish. So once again, we're showing you this. This is the white ones. These things glow in the dark. We also have pink ones. Justin will probably throw those up on the screen as we get going here and show you the pink ones. But if you go over to the Promar Ahi USA website, put in the code YSWG and the number 20, you're going to save 10% on these plus all the other products that are available over at Promar. So check all that out. And as we get going here with Justin, We'll uh, show you more products, more Promar products, talk more about Promar and all the great things that are going on over there. But um, real quick, we're going to bring in our buddy, Justin. I want to, because we're going to announce who won the grab bag. Hey, buddy. Hey. Welcome. How's everyone doing? We're good, man. Good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, yeah. I have nothing better to do right now, you know. <laughs> Getting your fence rebuilt. You can't even go fishing, huh? All right. Yeah, that's a nightmare right there. But yeah, you're talking about the rock cod squirts. Here's the pink one right there. There you go, gang. Um, there you go. Lucky winner is going to win this today. And a whole bunch of other stuff inside this grab bag right here that I showed yesterday on the live show. And the way we decided to, who was going to win was whoever downloaded the QR or whoever visited the Promar Ahi website through the qr code and there's the qr code we flashed it up on the screen yesterday and we told y'all you got a chance to win all you had to do was go to the website through the qr code and we would be able to track who you are and uh gang we're going to make that announcement right now to who justin's going to send this grab bag to and it's one of our members that which is crazy but it ended up being one of our members we threw all the names in the hat after uh Elliot gave them to me this morning, and we Kelly Girl pulled it out, and it's Robert Grober. Robert, thank you very, very much for always giving us the bait reports, and you are the winner of this grab bag. A lot of you met Robert at the PCS show. He was one of the lucky few people that got that squid net, that monofilament mesh net, and they left it in the booth for a few hours, and everybody tried to take that net from you, Robert, so. This is going to be a good grab bag. You and Justin will get a hold of each other after the show, and he'll get that to you. So congratulations, Robert, on that. And, gang, we're always constantly giving away things. And Justin's got another giveaway to anybody that followed along on that post we posted over on the uh, app in the community. Whoever was willing to come on the show and help me out and, and tell their story about how your saltwater guide has helped them and changed their lives. Justin's giving away a free t-shirt. Yeah, one more day. Tomorrow is the last day. And then Pablo's going to go on there on the community and pick one of you to win the free t-shirt from Justin. And I don't know how Justin figured out that he was going to let Pablo give away his shirt. But that's what he said yesterday. So that's what we're doing today, gang. It's because he wasn't paying attention when, when uh, we were talking and stuff. So... I no way, Pablo! Not yeah, paying I, attention. That's I funny. like surprising people when they're not paying attention. Kind of like calling them off the spot, you know, just like. Yeah. So, so hey, I got right I got now. some really good friends of the uh, of the podcast. Really good friends of Justin and I's waiting in the wings to talk about how great their fishing abilities have become because of being a part of the website. So first of all, 
And I have three really, really cool people that are going to tell their story. But first, we're going to start with Tim Ogilvie. So, Justin, you just kind of hang out. Don't go anywhere. We're not done with you. But let's bring Tim in here. Tim, welcome to the show. Hey, Dave. Thanks Can for being me? here. Oh, yeah. thanks for having me. <clears throat> Sorry for the, the the technical problems there. Dude, it always seems to come together right at the last second. Now you guys got to see the inner workings of the show. Don't worry. It happens every day. So, Tim, you and I ended up becoming pretty good friends. Your uh, father-in-law was my my mentor, my, my guy, my, the guy, Mel Bacon. He taught me how to run sport boats, how to help people. He worked for my father for a very long time. We ended up, didn't even know each other, and now we're really good friends. And it was a lot of it's because of the connection with Mel Bacon. And then also, how did you find your saltwater guide? Um, well, I bought I bought my uh, my boat here a couple of years ago, and I've never actually driven my own boat out on the ocean. So uh, I started looking at YouTube videos and doing research online, and somehow I came across your website and started watching and and trying to learn all I could, and and then. Uh, Somehow, I think I mentioned to you, I asked if you knew Mel, and then uh, I think I called you and we started talking. Yeah, the guy has got such a place in my heart. God rest his soul. But yeah, and every time we get together, we talk about it. But um, as you progressed into the website and as you started to learn about what was going on, did you take advantage of any of the things that we talk about on the website? Were you able to call any of our guides? Were you able to talk to anybody? How'd that all come to be? Yeah, well, I've, I've called you a few times. I've called Justin. I've talked to Pablo. I met Pablo. Um, turns out he lives right behind the elementary school that I went to back in the 70s. So, uh, and then, as you know, he gave me a couple of spots out on the nine at the end of last summer, and uh, we cleaned up on the rockfish. Yeah, you've been doing pretty good out there. Let's see. I think I got a picture. Do I got a picture? Nope, wrong picture. I got some pictures here somewhere. Whoop, that's the wrong guy, too. There's your son catching yeah, the trout. Up the, that's up in the Sierras. That's one of the, one of the twins. There you are out there on the nine. There we go. Yeah. So I think I surprised Pablo. Uh, he gave me the spot, and we're out there cleaning it up. And uh, here comes a boat, and he's thinking, who's on my spot? And it turns out it was me. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty rad, though, that we're willing to share rockfish spots with our members, right, Tim? Oh, that was awesome. And you get to go out there all the time. It looks You, you seem to always be in the right place nowadays, in the right place at the right time. I think we got, yeah, there you are again yeah. with a nice red. Yeah, I... Uh... I've been pretty pretty lucky the last few trips out. We seem to clean up, and uh, it's all thanks to you guys. So talk a little bit about the website and what it means to you and the community. And Because you're constantly posting on the community, and I see lots of people commenting on your post. So how does that feel to have, be in a community with a bunch of positive people? Oh, it's great because, uh, you know, there's other websites out there, and uh, – you don't dare comment or say anything because they they'll, they'll pounce on you and chew you up and spit you out before you know what happened. And that kind of sucks, doesn't it? It makes you feel kind of crappy. Yeah, but everybody on on the community here, uh, everybody has something nice to say and uh, willing to help. And it's just nice to be able to, you know, wave at people when you're going out of the harbor, you know, with your flag waving, like like you said, everybody. Everybody knows everybody now, and it's it's a nice feeling. It's a way different deal than the way that it was built back in the 70s, 60s and 70s. We didn't share anything with anybody, and I was able to pretty much remove head from rectum and look at this in a different <laughs> light in the, probably the late 80s and start to understand that. You guys, the private boaters, aren't really the enemy. You just need a little bit of help to be pointed in the right direction. and. Uh, I try to lose all negativity, gang, because if you guys follow me at all on look on any of the social media platforms, I get about 30 to 40,000 comments a month. 
and probably thirty-five thousand, or probably twenty-five thousand of those comments are the most vile, hateful things you've ever read in your life. So I was like, "There is no way I'm going to allow this on our website. I don't want to see any negative." And you've been you've been there for me the whole time since I don't even know how long you've been a member, but I know that our friendship goes really deep, and we would have never been friends if it wasn't for your saltwater guy. Exactly. Yeah, and the cool thing too is uh, if I need a refresher course on anything like tying knots or stuff like that, you just go to the website and pick and choose what video you want to watch and everything's right there at your fingertips. And then you're getting ready to leave tomorrow to go do something, right? Yeah, we're taking uh, taking the fifth wheel up to Lake Skinner for four or five days. Are you going to do any fishing there? Yeah, the kids are getting all their trout gear and bass gear ready, and hopefully uh, hopefully they'll get into something. Oh, I'm sure they will. You guys get pretty dang lucky out there fishing. I love when you send me pictures of the Sierras. That's Kelly girl and I miss fishing up there so bad. I mean, oh, there's yeah. a lot of benefits to being down here in Mexico, but we can't jump in the car anymore and drive to Mammoth or go fish Bishop or any of that stuff. So you make it. You bring it back to Kelly and I's heart whenever you post those pictures and let us know that you're up there. And then you bring mangoes for Marley and you bring those nuts and all that cool stuff that you get when you're up there. So thank you for that. Thanks for all the gifts. You always seem to show up at the show right at the right time when we need something cool. And there you are. So thank you so much for all of that. And thanks for being a, a contributing member of the community because if you guys look right now, you can see that picture on there, Tim holding that red, and then you can kind of read part of the comments there. Here's the thing with the members. They're not only sh showing you a picture of what they caught. That's It's not like bragging, oh, I caught this fish. No, they're trying to let you know that this is a kinder, softer community, and we share with each other exactly what we're doing out on the water, right, Tim? Exactly, and, and even at the shows, I, and uh, all the events that you guys put on, I, like I saw Justin here a couple weeks ago up at the new Bass Pro, and uh, he showed me how to how to get my uh, Mexican fishing license and and kind of walked me through that. So who else is going to do that for you? Yeah, and, and like you said, those other websites, they're all fun and all, but try to find the owner of the website and give him a call and let me know first if you can find their number and then let me know if they answer you and talk to you. We spend a lot of time on the phone talking. You spend a lot of time talking to Pablo and Justin. Is there ever a time where we don't help you? No. Uh, I've called you a few times when I was out walking at 630 in the morning. <laughs> Guess who answers? <laughs> Hopefully I didn't wake you up, but... <laughs> Now we get up kind of early, get ready to feed Marley for the day. Hey, there's Justin. What Justin, what do you think? I think everything. <laughs> Tim's a great guy. <laughs> He's a, oh yeah, Justin. Justin came out on my boat last year too. Yeah. Yeah. Went out fishing and yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. I was just looking great. at a comment on uh, Facebook and you're talking about the website. Your saltwater guide, and it's really funny because someone asked, you know, they're they're questioning on Facebook about um, coordinates and where to fish and how to do it and so on and so on. And some of the comments are really funny because some of them basically say, "Figure it out on your own," <laughs> like a lot of people say. Another comment was, uh, "They they listen to the marine radio," <laughs> and you know, Dave and I were on the marine marine radio. And uh, we steer your boat to wherever we want you to go. <laughs> exactly. I don't know. It just cracks me up. Some of these comments, I'm not going to comment on any of them because I just don't want to be that guy. And uh, some people are like, oh, just go get a chart and go to the reefs and figure it out on your own. <laughs> and the person wasn't even asking, you know, for tuna, but automatically the responses are for tuna. It's like, oh, get the chlorophyll charts and do this and go to the other website and follow what they say and so on and so on. It, it's just really funny. But you know, if you want, if everyone wants to know the truth about where to go fishing, it's all at your saltwater guide. Everything is at your saltwater guide. You don't have to get the chlorophyll charts because once you get the chlorophyll charts, like for instance, Tim, do you know how to read a chlorophyll chart? I, I, I've never seen one. Yeah. So 99% of people get it because they were told, right? 
we t- someone tells you to do something, you do it. Jump, how high? You get a chlorophyll chart and you don't know how to read it. You see the sea surface temperatures, you see the colors and everything else, but you're like, hey, okay, now that I have it, how do I read this thing? That's where Dave, myself, Pablo, Sonny, and all of us come in. And we do all the hard work and the guessing for you. And then we tell you exactly where the fish are going to be. And there's no sugarcoating it. We just tell you exactly to the T where the fish are going to be at. And 99.9, actually 100% of the time, the fish are going to be right there. So you never have to second guess yourself on the website, anything. If you have any questions, feel free to call us anytime you want. Yeah. So, so people that are wondering what herping is, it's not herpes, it's herping. It has to do with the science of reptiles and amphibians. So, <laughs> well, I just want to throw one more thing in there before we let Tim go. He's trying to get packed up and get ready to go to his big fishing trip with his boys. It's Easter vacation. Tim, it's just a pleasure and an honor to have you as part of the you are an ambassador of your saltwater guide like most of our members are but you've been there for me and justin and pablo you don't know when we get to talk to you you make us feel really good inside because you're just you honor the website and you honor the community so much so it's a real honor and a pleasure to have you as part of the family so thank you from the bottom of my heart for being there for us well, thank you guys. For thanks for coming thank on the show today I couldn't have done it without you guys. So, so thank both of you and, and uh, Justin and Pablo and Al. I even talked to Al last week and he helped me out. So I just want to say thank you to all you guys too. Thank you so much, buddy. And thanks for being here with us today. And thanks for listening to Justin and putting together this because we had a little technical difficulty, but yeah. this went really smooth and went really good. One thing before I let you go. And before we bring in John Stanley, hey, when you call Justin or you call Pablo or you call me and we tell you to go somewhere, what usually happens when you go to the place we tell you and tell you what to do? Uh, you usually fill your bag. <laughs> oh. you usually fill the kill bag. It's it kind of it's weird. People don't quite understand. They're like, how does how can that be? Well, gang, to be perfectly perfectly honest with you. Unlike all the other websites out there, my family owns a sport fishing landing in Dana Point. Okay, there's first reason why you may want to be a part of Dana Wharf Sport Fishing in Dana Point Harbor started out off the San Clemente Pier. My father started out working there in 1947. I know we don't have as much time on water as most of you, but 47s when he started, I started late. I didn't start till 74. But then here's another thing. Besides the sport boats and all that, we got Justin Boat Trail out on the water every day. We got Al Clowers out on the water every day. We got Sonny up in Sunny Hagison up in uh, Channel Islands out on the water every day. And then we got Pablo out on the water every day. We got the areas covered, gang. So when we get the information, it's actually real information. So that's why we're able to dominate and why our members are able to catch fish every time they go. But if you're just into catching a tuna, then you probably are going to waste a lot of time on the website because we're just teaching you how to catch fish winter, spring, summer, fall, year round. So if you only like to catch fish for an hour every year, that bluefin things, we, we know how to do it better than anybody, but that isn't what the website's all about. And, uh, Tim, thank you very much for being a part of this. I want to bring in another guy who's taking a break on his lunch right now. Tim, thanks for being with us today. Oh, okay, you. see you guys. I wanted to mention one more thing really quick. You just mentioned how uh, the, the tuna lovers, you know, that's all they want to do is fish tuna. You know the worst thing you can do in your boat? Let it sit. Exactly. That's the worst thing you can do in your boat. Let it yeah. sit, and then when you go to start it up, watch what happens. That's Absolutely. The absolute worst thing you can do is let your boat sit. So we fish all year long, literally all year long. Exactly. And that's what I think we're going to talk about here with Mr. Stanley. So bye, Tim. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Hey, thanks. John Stanley, Mr. Year Round Fisherman. Welcome that's to the right. show. Thank you. I'm a Your Saltwater Guide member and I'm a recovering booger eater. <laughs> <laughs> What 
What is the story with this little girl? Oh, that's my granddaughter. And uh, shoot, I think she caught her first fish about seven years ago. Little mackerel. She was terrified of it. And um, she goes fishing with us and she's been watching and I've taught her everything that I've learned off the website because there's so much to learn off that website. So much. And um, she can fish. She loves, well, she loves to catch. She's not big into fishing, but she loves catching. When the bite shuts down, so does she. But but she did pretty good. We did a tournament, and uh, she, you can see there she won the uh, the junior angler with the San Diego Rod and Reel Club. They gave her a plaque, that certificate, real bitchin' jacket with her name on it. So that was that was a that was a proud day for sure. Oh, absolutely, Grandpa. <coughs> Nothing better than that, right? And. Now that you know how to fish year round and you learn this artificial reefs thing, you guys got it pretty wild. Like the kids, when they go fishing with grandpa and grandma, they have a t the time of their lives, right? Oh, it's great. When I, we went out one time and the Calico bass bite was so good. We had the chum bucket going. That's a big game changer. And every cast was a fish. And it was one of those days where you saw each bite. That's the best, you know? And we ran out of bait and the kids actually fell asleep after that. Now, tell, tell people about this chum bucket thing, gang. It's going to blow your mind. John and Tina make the chum in their in their house. They have a... Well, I, I, I learned uh, stuff off of the website about chum, about chumming. And so what we do when we have leftover bait, we'll take it home. And that night, makes for a longer night, um, put it in the food processor. Yes, my wife lets me do this in the kitchen throwing sardines in the food processor, making this mush out of it. And then I put it in plastic or a Ziploc bags and I freeze it. So it's like a block. So when we go fishing, um, we throw it in the chum bucket. So it's a frozen block and it, and it thaws out and there's holes in the bucket. It thaws out and then goes out in the water, makes a good, uh, good chum slick. And it's, man, it's, it's killer. It's killer. It's, it's, uh, we always fish with it. I haven't fished without it. So I, I don't know uh, what it would be like without it, but with it, it's it's the way to go for sure. And that's when you're anchored, of course. And now you talk anything. about you talk about this all the time. You <clears throat> post a lot on the community, and I appreciate the heck out of that. Everybody that posts on the community, I really, really appreciate all of you. And uh, you and Tina are constantly posting over there. And the, your your favorite saying is, "Now you understand that it's." living in san diego it's a year-round fishery right for sure there is no downtime and which is great there's a few th few things i haven't got to on the boat because because there's no downtime but uh before i got with your website and uh knew what i was doing i used to fish with somebody else i had no no clue about private boating i used to go with someone else and uh, he didn't know either he thought he did but come about in september october that was it you know, when there was no more patties or sport boats to follow to chase uh, the tunas, we were done until uh, till the next year. But now, no. There, I mean, it's lobster season, that fills that, that whole time up. There's always this, always something to catch. Always something to catch. And, you know, last year, we didn't even chase tuna. What for? <laughs> well. Talk about what was going on there and what happened right here in this picture. Oh, well, uh, we hired Pablo. <clears throat> Originally, I just wanted to hire Pablo to learn about the boat because we just got the boat and it was new to us. And there's a lot of things I didn't know, like the electronics, because I never had anything like that before. And uh, Pablo came out. He came out to the dock. We're actually in the same basin. He wanted to check out the boat, see what he's getting into. And um, he actually showed me everything I needed to know right there at the dock. And uh, so there was nothing else left to do. Like, okay, bonus, we're gonna go fishing. So uh, my wife Tina, two years ago when everybody caught a Dorado, she didn't. I don't know what was wrong. I don't know what happened. We tried, she didn't. So I told Pop, well, can we get her a, a Dorado? I said, sure, we'll get her a Dorado. Well, he lied, it wasn't a Dorado. We got 40 Dorado that day. <laughs> Out of San Diego, not in Mexico, right? 
no, no. We were we were in American waters. And you were on what made it even more special? Were you on your boat? It was on my boat, and he did all the hard work. It was great. We just fished, and uh, it, it was a great time. Learned a lot, and we went to. Oh, I can't tell you. You got to go to the website to find out these spots. <laughs> right, but my goodness, Tina wanted to catch a Dorado, and she ended up catching a zillion draw. There you go. They can't wipe that smile off her face. There, can you? Oh, she's so happy. Oh, she she just pa Pablo is the greatest. She loves Pablo. <laughs> Yeah, he got lucky that day for sure. I mean, once in a while, blind squirrel finds a nut. Yeah, but, uh, you know, and he 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 definitely had a plan because I saw we were passing stuff that was something, but I think it was tuna, and he he was passing that up so we could get to the Dorado. And and he sure that that was that was a crazy day. I, man, what a dumb fish! You know, I've never seen anything like that before. We had him on the troll, and you know, I'm pulling it in. You know, like you catch a bass, it pops off. What does it do? It's gone, right? No, this Dorado had a feather with a, two big hooks in its mouth. And as soon as it popped off, he sped up to get it back in his mouth. <laughs> but everything you see out there, it, it was every cast. It was so fun. It was quick to get limits. I think when we left, those, those fish were probably following us. <laughs> and that's not part of the website. That was actually hiring pablo as a guide to go with you on your boat and kind of show you just show make you be confident on your boat when you went out right right yeah exactly because uh he showed me things i didn't even know about the boat which was awesome but yeah we hired him as a guide and we've gone out in his boat as well i mean he's like a buddy now that's a great thing about this whole community you know it's like it's like you're part of the group you know you're not just like a member or a number you know yeah, everybody all of a sudden becomes friends. When we see you at the shows, it's like everyone recognizes each other from the post and from the community. And the next thing you know, we're all hanging out. Then we go to dinner all together, 30 of us. It was just, yeah, it was is, a fun night. it's just a spectacular thing to be involved in, gang. I am going to go fishing anyway. I love to fish. That's my thing. That's my passion. That's my vacation. Like Kelly always says, if Dave could piss a puddle, he's going to fish in it. And I got guys like Justin, Pablo, Al, and Sonny that are like the guides that work with me, but they all have the same burning desire as I do to go fishing. And then to make sure that guys like John, Sam, John, you've been fishing forever. You know, you've been in this industry forever. You know, you've been fishing forever, but there's just some little tweaks, some little things that you learned on the website that totally changed your fishing thing, right? Oh, so much to learn, so much to learn, and simple, easy things you wouldn't think of. Like, I think the first thing that I applied was how to hold your reel. And never would have thought of that. I'm sure everybody does it the same way, you know, but that's the wrong way. I'm not going to say which way is the right way because you got to go and see. <laughs> but I remember the first time I applied that, I was out with a couple other buddies, and I was doing that, and they were teasing me. It's like, oh, look at John. What is he, a gunfighter, finger on the trigger? Well, guess who landed the most fish that day? So, and I've taught that to the grandkids as well. They do they do it the same way. And you know what's really fun about that, John, is I make these videos because this is how I've done it my whole life. And I make these videos and people go, that's not how I do it. And I'm like, why do you want to brag about doing it wrong? I don't get it, man. I don't get it. I don't know how to do much, but fish and make babies. And I did both of them pretty well most of my life. <laughs> Well, that's the thing about uh, doing it wrong. You know, there's some things that I learned on the website. And I'm like, man, this doesn't seem right. Well, if you think it's not right, then try to disprove it. And when you do it, it produces. And then how do you like the, the app that we built? Because you were a member before the app. So now is that app kind of cool? Yeah, I don't think I, I, I don't go on the website that much. I'm usually on the app because... You always have your phone with you. I mean, all through the day, I'll be looking at it just to catch up to see what's going on, you know, to be current. I've used it on the water, which is pretty cool. As we're catching stuff, I'll do it right then and there. Yeah, you're it's, pretty it's good at posting easy. pictures of what you're doing. Justin watches that app like a hawk. He catches stuff all the time that I don't see. And he's like, Dave, did you see that? I'm like, 
Damn. So you and Justin are on that app all the time. Another guy we're going to bring in in a few minutes. He's watching the app all the time, helping me. You guys, because we have so many members now with over 4,200 members, it's hard to keep track of everybody. But man, I tell you, like John Stanley said, most of the members are our friends now. They're our friends. They go hang out with us, eat meals with us, go on vacation with us. Come down to my house in Cabo. John, I met you and Tina and your daughter off the off the ship when you guys came down here. We hung out on the yeah. beach together, right? We've been from the beaches on Cabo with you to my garage. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> it's crazy, gang. This is just the f most phenomenal community. If you're not a member, if you're not a part of it, you can't really understand the love and the feelings. And Kim and Dan, Jason... Dave Burris, all the different people that are on here commenting and stuff. They're all Josh. These guys, people are all members. You're seeing the comments, Jeanette, Dave, Darren. There's just so Renee, all these people. There's a big halibut. Another one caught 41 incher off the game plan. <laughs> no way. That is so weird. That is so weird. John, and we all tell each other stuff. There's no secret. That's the cool part about it. I mean, that's real. That is for sure. You can see it on the app. You can call people. They'll tell you exactly where to go. They're not. They're not going to lie to you. And the camaraderie that we've put together, and and like John just said, sharing with each other. That's the thing I think that was missing the most in California was people don't share anything out <laughs> here. When I went down fishing in uh in Florida with RJ Boyle and the guys, the guys pull up to each other on their boats and talk and share. And, and they're like, yeah, we just caught 15 of these group of right here. And, da, da, da. And, it, and you go, well, you try that in California. You're going to get shot as you get close to them. People are just like full on booger eaters. Like you said, you're a recovering booger eater. <laughs> well, we share. And that's why we put together the flag system and we got Guys have the your saltwater guide flag hanging off the back of their boat. Then you know that that guy's approachable. You can cruise up and talk to him because it's not a booger eater. He's not going to lose his mind. He's not going to start frothing at the mouth when he sees another boat coming near him, which is pretty crazy. Pretty cool, though, to be a part of that. Right, John? Oh, absolutely. For sure. It's just nice. There's, there's no guessing, you know. I mean, you can do some work. It's easy. You know, you get kind of la lazy because you tell us what to do, but there's no guessing. I, I've done all those tricks. You know, I've called the landing and said, Hey, uh, do I need a passport to go on to San Diego this weekend? <laughs> you know, to see, kind of get an idea, but you don't have to do that. It's just the plan is there. The plan is there. No guessing. All the hard work is done. Well, thank you very much, John, for joining us. I know you got to get back to work. He's in the cab of his truck. That's how important it was for John to be a part of this and let y'all know how bitching the community is he stopped his job took a worked right through his lunch break so he could jump on here with us for a few minutes so thank you john stanley get back to work i don't want you to get fired and uh have a great day buddy thank you very much for sharing with us all right thank you see you later captain dave later justin later everybody hi john. john stanley thank you okay gang i want you to see this video real quick again about fishing the uh, squid. Let me see. Do I have it? Yeah. Watch this. Tim, um, I have flags. So if you want to get a hold of me, my phone number is 951-703-9442. And thank you. You're seeing the comment. I'm trying to produce the show. I don't have an Elliot today. Look at this. Saying This new net that Promar made, you throw it down below the squid that won't float and you pull it right through the middle of that squid and look at there you go. Got enough squid to fish with for the day. That's all I would need for a good day of sea bass fishing or yellowtail fishing. You throw that thing in the water four or five more times, your bait tank's full. Check that net out, gang. Mike, welcome to the show. I want you guys to see this QR code. You guys want to get one of those nets so you can catch that squid. It's going to be super important. Grab that QR code, gang. Every single time they stock up with those nets at one of the tackle stores, they sell out of them immediately because of that video I made that's circulating around the internet. There he is, Mike Lewis, the lobster guy, the popcorn lobster leg guy. He's so cruel. He just rips the legs off the lobsters while they're alive and cooks them. And he's got those painted nails, you weirdo. Uh, as, <laughs> that's so weird. I can't believe that that video was like, 
one of your top three videos of all time. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's just crazy, right? Yes. So, yep. Mike. Yes. Try to make me cry. Tell us a story of how you found your saltwater guide. So I have a I have a disease called sarcoidosis. So it's, a, it's an autoimmune disease. That's the easiest way to explain it. And before COVID hit, um, I got I got sick, um, and the stick that I got was fighting the sarcoidosis, and um, put me in the emergency room. And I was out of work for four months. So during those four months, um, I was really bored every day. And I just started surfing around. And Dave popped up in my feed one day. So I started watching him and telling my wife about him. When I got home, when, you know, when she got home from work, I tell him about, man, this guy is so cool. I can't wait to go out on the boat because I, he's teaching me so many things I didn't even know about and all this stuff. So I'm talking about you every day. And um, I decided I'm going to be a member. So I joined for a year. And then a couple days later, uh, Kelly had a contest about posting pictures. And so I posted a picture of our boat. And I was randomly picked to win the lifetime membership. And I, I was so blown away that I had to screen record what was going on because my wife was gonna not gonna believe that I won a lifetime membership. She thought that I talked about and loved Dave so much without even meeting <laughs> him that I was gonna buy a lifetime membership. So um I I can't thank Dave enough for everything that he's done for me. And and my wife loves Kelly because she surprised me with the trip for my birthday last year to go to Cabo and spend a week with Dave and Kelly. And um I I know a lot of people say, oh, it changes your life or how can it change your life? But until you're a member and you're on the show every day, you you just don't know. You you honestly think that you know, but you don't know until you know. And that's the saying that Dave says. And he's right. And I've been out there and I've done stupid things. I I have done stupid things and I turn around and I say to whoever I'm fishing with, I'm like, oh, my God, if Dave knows finds out that I just did that, he's going to kick my butt. And um, I've, I've made mistakes. And I instantly knew that I made a mistake because I remember Dave said, don't do this. And I did it. So, yeah, we become really good friends. And now my wife surprised me and I get to go fishing with you, Dave, and you, Justin, in Alaska this year. So I'm pretty stoked. <laughs> Yeah, we're pretty happy to go with you and Jamie. We're ex super excited about the trip. And that's what I was talking about if, probably 30 minutes ago is how the members became friends. And now they're good friends. And we go on vacation together. And Mike Lewis came to Cabo. And you were kicking. You were not going to – you didn't want to come to Mexico. You were like, <laughs> Mexico sucks. I'm not going to Mexico. I want to stay up here in the United States of lawlessness. And I'm like, you what? Yeah. What? Come down here, dude. There's no crime. They yeah. won't allow that shit down here. No. <laughs> I, allow I even went to boot camp in San Diego, and I didn't even go to Tijuana with all my friends. And uh, thank God my wife talked me into going down to Cabo because it was an amazing, amazing trip to hang out with you guys. Feeding the fish with my mouth was <laughs> something that you can never describe until you actually do it yourself. Yeah, yeah, and you did, and that was a fun day, boy. We had a good time hanging out at the beach, sitting in beach chairs. I mean, gang, so many of you live right by the beach in California, and you don't even go to the beach. And like I asked Mike, when was the last time you sat in a beach chair at the beach? He's yeah. like, I don't even remember. Yep. But something else, Mike, is you're a war hero, and I appreciate that, and it means a lot to me, the sacrifices you made to go over there and I didn't even know that at the time. I do my show about war heroes on water, and then we got that connection, me and you. And I know you're wearing the hat right now, and that means a lot to me because I really didn't do anything to deserve this life that I live. But I give back as much as I possibly can to men and women that went over there and did all that. And the veterans are probably the most important part of the United States of America. So thank you for your service. Thank you for that. And before we go any further, 
Tell us about this picture. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, this was the day that I made a huge mistake because um, uh, I had a couple friends with me on the boat and we were out at Channel Islands because my boat's in Oxnard. So I mostly fish the islands. And uh, I get into bites and finally hooked into a big, uh, oh my gosh. I'm, I'm going to get so mad at myself right now. So <laughs> halibut. I never, I caught halibuts before. I've never caught a keeper. So I hook into one and I get it all the way up to the boat. And everybody says, oh my God, it's like 50 pounds. Well, I took off running and I instantly stuck my thumb on the spool. <laughs> it, the line snapped. And I almost threw my rod in the water I sat down and pouted for a couple minutes and I just wanted to go home. I was so mad at myself. <laughs> so I said, wait a minute, let me, let me text Dave and see what he thinks. So I text him, talked to him and he told me exactly what to do. I turned the boat around. I went where he said, I set my line up and did exactly what I said, what he said. Very first drop. I'm not kidding you. It had hit the bottom in less than 30 seconds. I was on. I was on. And man, I was every single thing that he had told me I had running through my head like, 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 um, like a cartoon as fast as everything I could, I could possibly calculate everything that he said was going through my mind. And I just reeled and just did every single thing he said. And I pulled that halibut up. I barely got it unhooked and I already had the phone in my hand calling him, telling him I caught it. I can't believe I actually caught the first keeper. Oh my God. It was so awesome. And so it was also the first, first, uh, how about I got to fillet and I did watch a bunch of YouTube videos and, and, and figured out exactly what to do. And just like watching Dave, I was able to fillet this fish where you could see right through it. And I think I sent him a picture, um, yeah. after I filleted it. And it was about 38 inches. I don't know what I did. I screwed that up. I had the picture loaded, but then I think I put too many John Stanley pictures on here and I pushed it out. But here, you like to catch these too, right? That's my favorite fish in the world. Ling Kong, <clears throat> my favorite fish to catch, to eat, to take pictures with. Oh, the Ling Cod are the most awesome fish. And I can't wait to catch some giant ones in Alaska. Oh, absolutely. It's going to be so fun. That's you and I were talking before the thing you and I are looking most forward to. You can have me personally. You can have those gigantic halibut. They're like pulling up a tire off the bottom. That's not my thing. Those right there. And then going fishing in the forest for those trout and salmon that are lurking in the forest with the and dodging bears. I'm going to yep. make sure that I'm going to be with Mike Lewis because I think I can run faster than you. <laughs> Yeah, but I can fight better than you, so I, I thought that would be the verge. I can I'll take video of you fighting the bear. <laughs> I'll take video of you uh, fighting you'll have to the bear. Game here and let her tell you the story about going to Alaska on the scooters. <laughs> GoPro on, and I rode behind. We were on scooters, and I stayed behind her the whole time because I wanted to get it on video if a bear jumped out and grabbed her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, hey. I want to get Justin involved more in this conversation for the for the sheer fact of the website and how it works and what you were saying as you got really pissed off and you were like ready to leave and go home and you just stopped for a minute and you called, you text me and then you called me and we talked on the phone. Yep. Guys are doing the same thing with Justin all the time, gang. You don't understand this community. It'll blow your mind until you get involved. Like Mike was saying, Jeanette saying, Dan, Kim, all the people that are leaving these great comments. And I appreciate all of you. Thank you very, very much for that. But this community, believe me, I understand because I've been on the other side. I ran sport boats. We own sport boats. We've been in the industry our whole lives. I know both sides. And I know how horrible it is to be zero you get zero information and you're just struggling out there and you're seeing all these great catches and all these great pictures and everybody's and you're like what am i doing wrong you pick up the telephone you call justin you pick up the phone you call al these guys answer your call and while you're out fishing mike right while you're yep. out fishing 
Yeah. You know, in the beginning, I didn't even like taking people on my boat because I realized that I did not know what I thought I knew. I was mostly freshwater or out on the cattle boats. You know, I honestly thought that I could just go out there and slay it. But when you're out there on your own, it's not the same. Man, oh man, is it not the same. The, the information that I've got from you guys, even even when I went to uh, uh, lobster fishing with Justin, man, I thought this was a piece of cake. I watched the videos and I seen everybody do it. Oh man, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of fun, but it's a lot going on that you just don't know until you know. And a lot of it's prep work and you don't see the behind the scene stuff. But when you go with Justin and you're on the boat with him and you see everything that goes into having a success. I mean, let's think about this for just one second, gang. Justin, tell them how many lobsters you caught this year on your live show. Um, 2,000 or well, keepers. 2,400 and. 23, I think it was. 2,423 keepers. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. That's that's a, a record-breaking year. Wow. And that was all live. That was live. So we can't lie about it, gang. We Justin did 60-plus 60, 60 live shows out on the water, which was the most incredible thing. And Mike Lewis was there. Darren was there. A lot of the members that are watching right now were out there on the boat with you, and they can attest to this. We don't... When we're doing a live show game, there's no way to hide the ball and pretend like we're, oh, yeah, because if you're watching a TV show, that thing's been edited nine zillion times and you get to see him catch a fish. But when you're out there and you get, like Mike just said, you get to see all that went behind, all the chopping of the bait, all the rebaiting the tubes, and Justin's driving the boat holding the camera, hitting the spotlight, also talking to everybody, which is pretty incredible, right? You're talking to the members as they're asking you questions. It's just mind-boggling, all the stuff that's going on. And then if you're Mike Lewis and you get to go out there and you own your own boat, let's yep. be honest, you own your own boat, but you went with Justin because you wanted to see what all this bitch and stuff. Also, didn't you win that trip? I was just getting ready to say, ah. I actually won that trip. It was a crazy deal because um, uh, uh, Dave Burris um, decided that he couldn't go, so he wanted to pay for somebody. So Justin had, like, in five minutes, everybody that knew Justin's number that could text him uh, got in this contest. And then right at the end of your show, he spun the deal, and he started cracking up, and he said, you are not. Oh, that's right. I remember that now. <laughs> You're not even going to believe who won. And I said, oh, it's got to be me. Because I can just tell the way that Justin was reacting. So, yeah, that was so and I had to call in sick for work and, and haul. But I had to drive all the way to Ventura and then all the way down to Long Beach. And it took me about eight hours to do that with traffic and everything. And I got in time before they left. Yes. And the, the, the lobsters in the popcorn lobster video were from that trip. Yes. That is Funny. So much funny. <laughs> too funny. I remember that. that I'm, I'm, I've been talking with Dave Burris, and I think we're going to collaborate on something. Uh, I don't know. It might might even be some custom paint on some rods. That would be pretty sick. See this cup right here, gang? Not only is Mike Lewis a a good human, but he's a f epic painter, gang. You have no idea. The paintings that he does are incredible. He painted this cup for me, and he brought it down as a gift. When him and Jamie came and visited us. I'm actually sitting in my seat. I, I sit here and airbrush every day until 2.30. And I work aerospace at night. So then I'll go work there till midnight to 2 o'clock in the morning. And come home and start all over. My alarm goes off, my, my alarm goes off at 11.55. So if I'm sleeping or I'm eating lunch or I'm painting, I always know not to miss Dave's show. Because Monday will be... 104 weeks in a row that I've done 50 stars every single day for 104 weeks in a row. Yep. That, that's incredible. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. And me, and, me and Elliot used to watch before we knew who you were. We used to just see the stars come in. And gang, this show, I've been doing this show now for, I started doing it during the pandemic. I started doing it because I have ADHD and I can't sit still and I didn't know what to do. And I love to talk. And I just started this 
out of nowhere just because I wanted to be able to talk to people because like there was no one down on the boats. There was no one coming around us. We weren't allowed to do any uh, seminars. We weren't allowed to go anywhere or do anything. So I started this show out of nowhere and uh, I'm blown away by where, where it's taken off. I did it for two years for free, five days a week, never got a dime, never did nothing. Mike Lewis started throwing stars out, which I didn't even know what the hell the star was. Mike Lewis had to teach. Now listen, this is my show. <laughs> Mike Lewis had to teach me about the star and he has helped so many people like Jeanette and all the other members, Dan and Kim and everybody else that sends me stars. Mike Lewis basically taught everybody how to do it. We didn't even know what the hell. And then you put a star on the bottom of my cup for me. That's right. So if you want to step it up on your drink and you'll remind me of you. <laughs> yep. It's pretty incredible, gang, the, the, the friendship that we're getting off of this. And, and that's not – none of that was what I thought was going to happen. I never thought I'd be able to supplement my income with this show. But now this show is fully sponsored by some of the biggest names in the industry, AFCO. Fishing Booker, Akuma, Promar, Pacific Coast, Pacific Sport Fishing Alliance, and Deckhand Sports, and all these companies that know now the power of your saltwater guide. And it's because of guys like Mike Lewis and Jeanette and and uh, Brad and Dan and Kim and all of you that make it so that this show rolls along. But those of you that are sitting on the outside that go fishing a little bit here and there on your boat or go out on the party boats or the sport boats or everything, believe me, the website has something for all of you. But the key to the whole thing, and like I teach everybody when they sign up, let me give you a tour of the community because that's where the meat and potato, that's where the love is. That's where you're going to feel the love from all the people, right, Mike? Yes, 100%. It, it's great. You know, I don't spend... A, a, a lot of time on the community like some of the guys are on every single day because if i if i look at it once and then five days later i look all of a sudden there's 50 posts i'm like oh my god i gotta look every day because people are fishing every day i forgot that some people can do that you know and uh <laughs> it's uh it's pretty awesome and and even learning things that that you talk about and seeing the people do it in practical use it just makes sense it really does Thank you so much. Thanks for saying that because yeah, it does. And my son just sent me a message. He just, he just, my son just found our, uh, our story. He didn't even know our store existed. And he found the t-shirt that says, all I know how to do is kill fish. And he's just <laughs> sent me a message. He's like, dad, that's the great. I'm like, you have been saying that for years. Oh my God. Yeah. And you now another thing about what you do is I learned a lot about other companies that I never knew about. I have, I got my deckhand sports bag. Um, I've got different line from, from Promar and um, there's things now that if I go into the tackle shop, I specifically look for those name brands and I'll buy them. So I might not buy them from their website, but I'm buying them from my local tackle shop. I'm buying their products. So it's good that you say that stuff every day, talk about them, run their videos, have them come on and talk about their products. That is great information, and, and I appreciate it. Well, thank you very, very much. And I hope there's people out there that are listening that are like, wow, I want to I want help with my product. Call me, gang. Don't be scared. Nobody, if you're spending your money on print ads in this fishing industry right now, you're just kind of wasting your money. You get together with me, Justin, Mike, Pablo, Al, any of our members, and Come and see what we're doing and bring your product and let us touch it and feel it. And if it's worth it, we'll talk about it on the show, gang. One thing, like Kelly Girl always says, we don't talk about product if we don't use it. If we're not using the product and we're fishing with the product and our members, and we're so visible, Mike, that it'd be kind of crappy to have a product that doesn't work, but we're promoting it. I mean, and then Justin takes it out on his boat and every time he hooks a halibut, the line breaks. Oh. That'd be kind of crappy. It, That'd be it, kind of crappy. Justin, as you talk about, was on Justin's boat when I was on there. He's not kidding. That's all he had was exactly what you guys talk about. And I got to tell you uh, about the PCS show. It was great to walk around and actually recognize people walking around the show from from your videos. And then going out to dinner and meeting everybody. We had like 30 people, like you said. That was a, the greatest time. But the, bet, the coolest thing about the PCS show 
was meeting the guy from Something's Fishy. And I had to tell him some stories about the Something's Fishy because you gave me a bottle when I was in Cabo. So I bought some more at the PCS show. If a lot of people on here, I guarantee you, are working guys and wear boots. I, I've never found anything that works better in my entire life than a, a squirt of something fishy maybe once a month in my boots. You have no foot odor whatsoever. So you can do it for fish and all the rest of that stuff. My main thing for it right now is works in my boots. Nice, gang. There you go. Because, yeah, you can only imagine Mike's got some pretty stinky-ass <laughs> feet. I'm telling you, man, this is my foot. They're, they're, they're working boots. 12, 15 hours I'm working in these things. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you know what else is stinky? Is uh, flip-flops in your feet when you get all the blood and everything on <laughs> That's pretty stinky. Oh, yeah. I Kelly have... used to tell me all the time, Dave, it's time to bleach the decks. And I'd be going, we're at home. What are you talking about? She goes, your feet, they stink so <laughs> goddamn bad. You got to go bleach the deck. Uh, like, you go down to the lady with the fish and get your feet cleaned. Yes, that yeah. is. That don't is. kill the fish. <laughs> and I've taken my kids and my son's wife there. We just love that, Mike. And that's because you came down to Cabo and you turned us on to that lady. And she, that is the coolest thing when you get those fish to eat. But the massage she gives oh. you is just crazy. The whole thing, yeah. every part of it, and all this is dollars you're ever going to spend. And uh, gang, if it wasn't for the show, Mike and I would have never met. And if it wasn't for the community, none of ninety percent of us would never meet. So thank you all very much for supporting me and being there with me all the time. And oh my gosh, I just can't thank you all enough. And then Justin, I got- literally have a new member messaging me about going to Catalina. Um, he's going to Catalina tomorrow. No, nice. thanks, Zoe. Yeah, he wants well, to. Tell them where to go, what to do. So, yeah. And yeah, fish are biting, everyone. Fish are biting. They're always biting. I know. I was going to say always, always biting. It just might not be that big, giant blue fin that everybody that, – I only go blue fin fishing. I'm like, move. You need <laughs> right. to move. You need to move now. You need to move yeah. right now. Move. You need to go to Prince Edward Island and go there. And that's where you need to go live because living in Southern California, you need to learn how to fish for the fish that live here year round. It's kind of the deal. But gang, Justin's got that contest. We got to wrap this up because I got a, I got a business call at one o'clock. So I'm sorry to cut everybody short. But Justin has a contest. We're gonna run it till tomorrow. He's gonna. Oh, not this one. This one's already. That's going to Robert. Yeah, but Justin's giving away a T-shirt for somebody. And if you guys enjoyed this show and you like the camaraderie and being here next week, we're going to bring in three or four new people, members of the website. All you got to do is go answer that, that post that I put up and we're going to pick one lucky person to, or Pablo is going to pick that person tomorrow, but we're going to invite you. If you want to be on the show, I'll invite you to be on here and you can tell the story. And if those of you that are negative that are out there that hate me, you can come on too. I'm not afraid. I leave you guys 10 tickets at every trade show I do for the haters. It's got an envelope and it says the haters and no one ever shows up. It's the weirdest damn thing you've ever We need to get Paul Sabisky or whatever his name is on here. (laughs) Remember the guy on the live shows? Oh, yeah. That's who we need to get on here. Mike Lewis wants to punch that guy in the face. (laughs) I have his phone number. Hold on. Yeah, we don't want to do that. (laughs) No, no, no. But Mike Lewis, thank you for taking a half an hour of your day. I know you got to go to work. I'm here every day anyway, so this is not nothing, nothing uh, out of out of the ordinary for me. Uh, this is I get an hour a day, and I put your phone right here while I'm airbrushing or while I'm eating, or sometimes I even watch Wicked Tuna and up with the TV on while I'm listening to you. Well, Paul's going to be on the show here real soon again. He he talks to me almost once a week. So that's crazy that he talks to you with his mount the amount of of trash talk you talk about the tuna it's <laughs> that you got those guys as friends <laughs> yeah well, you you were at the show and i was up there or no you weren't there on sunday i was up on stage with marciano and i was just telling them everybody how much i hate bluefin and i want them all to die Arr! but somebody posted video of you up there it might have been elliot i saw it. it i was cracking up hilarious man Yeah, one thing I'll make you do, I'll make you laugh. But I got to jump on here, everybody. 
Thank you, Mike, Justin. Thank you both very, very much. I really enjoyed this. Have a great day. Lots Thanks for great, being here. Lots of great comments today for sure. So this is a good idea for you to get members on here like this because I've been watching the comments the whole time. Lots of great comments. Well, cool, bitch. And I'll go back and look at them after the show, gang. I got a haul ass. I've got a bunch of stuff to do today. Bye, everybody. Love.